Danico to Girasillo. To Dolevsky. Feeds Mayer posting up. Foul by Alvarado. Alvarado arguing the call, and we see that called a lot. I don't have to deal with the stresses or the worries that most other players in this league do. You know, there's so many guys coming in and out of this league. Uh, you know, they're worried about, oh, am I doing all right? They're, all, they're worried about who's watching them or how are they performing day in, day out. I know, you know, I, I'm going to put 100% in and give my heart out to whatever I do, like God tells us to do. And I uh, trust in him. You know, he's directing my path, and he's, uh, I get my strength from him. And I don't have to worry about taking certain pills or, you know, trying to get the edge up that way. I feel like I got the edge because I have a relationship with him. Yeah, this team's unbelievable. I mean, we have an awesome ministry here. Before the games, we have a pastor come in and talk to us. Uh, we get about eight, nine guys on the team, you know, and uh, we get to hear the word straight from the Bible. And... Uh, we have opportunity to pray together as a team. And before, before the games, you know, the guys asked me to actually say a little prayer before the games, you know. It's more of a luck streak for some of the guys, but, you know, it's an opportunity to, you know, let, the, let uh, God show and do His work through us, you know. Well, when you're playing Kansas City, you have to know you're going to give up some goals and they may come quickly. Right. But this has been the Comets' M.O. They play best with their backup against the wall. They were down by three goals in Milwaukee Thursday when they rallied to beat them in overtime. Kansas City Comets is real proactive in getting in the community, first of all. And then I took it on my own to take the next step to, you know, meet some people and let them know that I'm here to help them any way they can. And through a couple connections, you know, now I'm coaching Police Athletic League, inner city basketball and inner city boxing. And, you know, it's just an awesome opportunity and awesome ministry to touch kids that, you know, aren't as fortunate as how I grew up or, you know, and they're real eager to learn and, you know, look up to somebody. In, for so many years of my life, I focused on me, 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 you know, and, you know, just reading the Word and getting closer to God is you have to give back to others and, you know, putting yourself second and being selfless like Christ was and, you know, just learning from the Word and helping the guy, kids out there and, you know, it reinforces you when you see the reaction from the kids and how much you can help them by, you know, just showing up and just being like a big brother type deal. It says a lot. Half. Dallas would like to go to the locker room, still leading by at least three. Kansas City starting to apply pressure. Davis to Girasillo from the right wing fires, bouncing around in front of Sagu. Well, there's a great church out here. It's our first family uh, in Kansas, uh, Pastor Johnson. Uh, he's just, you know, he's nationwide. He's all over the news, especially with the Passion of Christ, and he's a great pastor. Our assistant coach, Gordon Hunyak, got a couple of the guys involved in going to that church, and you know, it's, it's the best church I've been to yet and learning so much. And now I'm really learning about getting in the Word and, you know, building a relationship that way. Anthony mayer has got four game-winning goals this year. He's put Kansas City in a position to win tonight. Nah, no secret. All these guys make fun of me all the time, man. I'm doing my push-ups, you know. I don't like to mess with weights anymore because of the hernia. But, you know, I do push-ups every day, you know, and, you know, in the Bible it says, you know, you give everything you got to what you're doing, no matter what you're doing, whether it be the simplest of tasks. So, you know, I'm out here. I try to get the edge up on people by, you know, maybe staying later than everybody else, maybe doing a couple extra sprints. And, and we got a lot of guys here that are hungry, real competitive, so always got to be ready to do a little bit extra work. This, this is dangerous. Dolevsky beats Girasillo. Philo went for the sliding tackle. Sagu loses it in front, and Mayer ties the game. Here's a look at the replay. Just skipped off of uh, Sagu's body, and Mayer was there to finish. Yeah, Alibich was there too next to Sagu, but you're right, just a, one of those hops off of the board, it deflects off of the goalkeeper, and there's a wide open net for Mayer. Well, who knows, man? I, like I said, I used to be a planner. I used to write down everything, where I need to be, how I need to get there. And right now, I'm just, you know, not worrying about tomorrow. I'm just living today and, you know, focusing everything on what I'm doing, putting my heart in everything I do, and trusting that God's going to direct my path. Uh, I know I want to be in this league a long time. Uh, that's my desire to play for a long time. Uh, and this is what I do, you know, professional soccer, working with kids, and just, uh, get more out in the community, working with inner city kids. You know, there's a lot of opportunity from a professional player to, uh, you know, touch kids out there.
you know, when adversity comes your way, you know, there's two ways to look at it. You can let it beat you down or you can use it as a stepping stone to the next level. And, uh, you know, with that said, you, can, you need Christ in your corner to do that. And uh, without Christ, uh, you're nothing and those obstacles will weigh on you and it'll just wear on you. Uh, but with Christ, you know, you can do anything. You can do all things through His strength. And uh, if you just use that as your basis for anything that comes your way in life, you'll be okay. I promise.